Imagine traveling to a strange place with no map and just the stars and sky to guide you. Imagine what it would be like to run through miles and miles of treacherous woods for days at a time. Imagine hiding in tiny spaces while men with hunting dogs tried to find you. And if they did, you would be beaten. Those were just some of the dangers enslaved people endured as they attempted their escape to freedom. This is the story of a woman who won freedom for herself and hundreds of other people. This is the story of Harriet Tubman and her escape to freedom. Harriet Ross was born an enslaved person in Dorchester, Maryland, around 1820. An enslaved person is someone who is owned by and works for another person. Enslaved people did not get paid for the work they did. They were bought and sold, just like property. When Harriet was born, slavery had existed in America for about 200 years. Hundreds of thousands of Africans were taken from their homes in Africa. After being captured, they were chained, put on ships, and brought to America. But people's views on slavery were beginning to change. Many people believed that slavery was wrong. The states in the North began to put limits on slavery. Also, in the northern economy, manufacturing was much more important. Immigrant men and women worked in factories. The northern economy did not depend on enslaved workers. In the southern states, however, things were different. Cotton was an important crop in the south. It took lots of workers to grow and harvest cotton. Enslaved people provided the manpower to get the work done. Slavery was important to the plantation owners and the Southern economy. Most Southerners didn't want slavery to end. 